What up, tricks? Today we're getting a little bit of gas, and uh, I'm gonna introduce you to somebody who definitely gained my respect the past couple days. He's a homeless guy. His name is Randy. He's a really nice guy, and uh, he's usually back and forth on my site, but he's never really ever hanging around and causing any issues for me. He's always been really helpful and, you know, letting me know when there's some sketchy people around. And uh, he's always been really cool. He never loiters on our property. You know, he always gets what he needs and he goes about his business, you know. Goes back to Mira Mesa Boulevard right here and tries to make, you know, the living that he can, you know. He, uh, he's a pretty cool guy. He, you know, he chose to live the life he lives, and he's uh, very at peace with that. But, uh, you know, he's one of the homeless people that I've met that I got to know, and he's, uh, he's never a problem. He's a really cool guy, and, you know, recently it started getting really cold outside, and, uh, you know, he was telling me how cold it was the other night. You know, he was struggling to stay warm, and... I was like, dang, you know, like, why don't you look into getting, like, a sleeping bag, you know, right now while you can, because winter's coming, and, you know, they'll charge cheaper prices right now for something like that, then, you know, when winter's here, they'll jack up the prices. He's like, oh, you know what, yeah, I'm going to try to make enough to do that, and he actually did, and went and bought a sleeping bag, I think, last weekend, and uh, he was telling me this morning, man, Last night it sucked, and I didn't notice. I noticed you didn't have a sleeping bag, and I was like, "Ah, oh, like what happened? You know, like why? Why was it a bad day?" And he told me another homeless person stole his sleeping bag. So I, uh, I figured I could help him out today. I'm gonna go give him a hoodie, one of my hoodies, because I, uh, you know, I'm in a position where I can do something like that and just try to help him out a little bit. You know, try to stay warm the least I could do you know he's been a really cool guy and never a problem so we're gonna meet him over here by this Barnes and Noble he said he's over here by the stairs there he is what's up buddy <laughs> Here you go, man. Try it on. I love the camera. Thanks, man. Try it on. <laughs> I want to see it on you. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. You're kidding, right? Nah, man. It's all you. I want to make sure I could do something to keep you a little bit warmer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that hoodie's kind of tore up, you know? You need need something nice. Hey, man. Looks good, man. Fits right. Yeah. It fits. Hell yeah, man. We got, we got red and black now. There you go. <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah, no problem, man. It's the least I could do, especially after you told me that your, your sleeping bag got stolen. I was like, shit, man, you need something. People are assholes, man. Just try to save up as much as you can, man. Try to get known. You got to stay warm out there, and hopefully that'll help, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Just take it easy, all right? Thank you. <laughs> all right, man. All right, take it easy, all right? So, yeah, boys and girls, that's Randy. I don't know what your guys' views on homeless people are or experiences with them, but, you know... Regardless of how you feel, they're human beings too, and you know, we need to treat them as such, regardless of how they may behave. You know, a lot of these guys have their own issues, and you know, Randy's not exempt from that. You know, he's got his own stuff going on in life, but you know, a lot of us do too, and you know, you gotta just kind of understand where they come from, and you know, understand that they're in a position where they can't immediately change their life even if they wanted to and we have to 
kind of exist amongst one another in the best way possible. And the only way to really do that is to just treat them as, you know, human beings. You know, Randy, Randy's a nice guy. He has his flaws, but you know, so do I, so do you. You may not see them, but we all have them and we all need to start treating each other like that. Looking out for our neighbor, looking out for one another. The world's coming to a fucking end at some point and the whole fucking North Korea shit threat's a lot more imminent and, and real. And it looks like, you know, things will end a lot sooner than we all want want them to and had, had anticipated them to. And right now is the time that, you know, we need to look after each other and show support in any way we can. And, you know, by me giving him a hoodie, that's it's something small and insignificant to me, but it may change an entire day or night of sleep for him. You know, I just want you guys to, when you watch this video, I want you to think about, you know, somebody that is in a lot more need than you that you could go help. What can you do to make somebody else's day brighter? How can you brighten somebody's future by something small as giving somebody a hoodie so that way they stay that much less cold? The man's got to sleep on a concrete slab, regardless if he put himself there or not. That's his current living situation. And I'm just happy that I can make him a little bit more comfortable and show him that not everybody's a douchebag. Not everybody looks at the homeless as a disease, they look at, you know, that some people will actually look and treat them like a human being. So I hope this video makes you guys, you know, realize that, and I hope you decide to pay it forward. I challenge you to brighten someone's day in any way. Take care, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.